Hey, we got a little show on oysters today. You know, there's a thousand and one uses for oysters. You use them all over the kitchen for all sorts of dishes. Uh, and today I'm going to show you one from starting from raw and then ending up with beautiful smoked oysters that we serve in a little can in the bar at RDG. It's really, really good. So, here's the best way to open an oyster. Have somebody else do it for you. Someone who knows what they're doing. So, Clint, you want to show us how to pry that open? Certainly, I'd love to. These are oyster oysters from Galveston Bay, and the best way to open an oyster is to find the, the tail of it, stick your oyster knife in there, and then you just want to turn and pop the muscle up the back. And just reach underneath, slide it through so you cut off that muscle, and you just reach back underneath and cut the other side of the muscle, and go ahead and turn open the uh, that, wonderful oyster. That's a beautiful oyster, isn't it? And then he... Uh, then he hands the oyster to me. I inspect it. Yes? Perfect. Perfect oyster. I'll have another. The fastest way to make your oyster opener mad is to keep eating his oysters. So just gotta pop them open, then we'll collect them in a bowl. We'll just put them in with uh, the other oysters here. Every time you eat an oyster, you got to remember how much work it is. But look how beautiful that one. Big and fat. Really beautiful. Gorgeous oyster. You want to open one more? Sometimes it's more fun to watch someone opening oysters than doing it yourself. Another big fat one. Look how gorgeous that is. Really beautiful. So those will go into, into this bowl. We've been kind of doing, collecting these up. And then to smoke them, uh, we'll, we'll brine them a little bit by adding a little bit of salt to them. Which just when you usually barbecue or smoke something, you add a little bit of salt just to sort of tighten them up. And then you let them, we let them sit in there normally for a while. Then we'll spread them out on this uh, cheesecloth. On a, it's on a wire rack actually, and to hold the oysters in place, this cheesecloth has just been dampened in some in some water. So you just kind of lay them out. And then a good little trick, because you know oysters are so delicate, we don't want to over smoke them or get too much of that sooty flavor from the wood. Looks like a lot of them there. Then we take another piece of cheesecloth that's lightly dampened and just put it over the top like a little, kind of like a little blanket, so they're underneath this damp cheesecloth. So they're sitting underneath there. Now you put this in a smoker or, or in the far corner of your grill with the fire burning cool to the side and the smoke will, will slowly and the gentle heat, soft heat will smoke them. But the cheesecloth stops sort of the soot and the heavy ash from getting on them. So when they're done, they're just delicately smoked. And it's very easy. You can actually pop it right off the grill and almost, I would imagine, just kind of lift the cover back and eat the smoked oysters right off of there. So smoking an oyster, you don't want it too hot. So you want the temperature very low at 180, 200 degrees or so, 220. And you can keep checking them as they sort of firm up and they'll release a little bit of juice. So it could be anywhere from 15, 20 to 40 minutes, but keep your fire kind of cool, almost like it's died out and just the remainder of the, of the wood and the coals are burning. And you'll know when they're done, they, they, uh, they're, they're still plump, but they're a little bit, little bit firmer. You won't have that raw oyster feel. They're just not hard and chewy, but just a little bit sort of plump. And they'll begin to feel very warm to the touch. But they, they shouldn't begin to dry out or wrinkle on the edges or start to shrink dramatically or turn dark brown colors. So when the oysters come out, here's the some we smoked earlier, you can see that they still, they're really gorgeous. They look like a very plump oyster, but they're just almost like lightly poached. Like the temperature was about that of, of boiling water. And so they have all that juice inside and they're not, they're not uh, tough and chewy. Just cooked through like they've been poached. So what we do when we serve them here at RDG in the bar, we add uh, almost like a smoked kind of barbecued oysters. We add a little bit of our sort of homemade barbecue sauce, which is Guajillo chili and, and chipotle. A little bit of, of extra virgin olive oil. Always good for you. Give it a good, good squeeze of lime. Fresh lime at the last minute. And then a little pinch of good salt. 
and we just sort of turn them over, it'll form its own sort of barbecue sauce and they'll start to glisten. So that guajillo and smoked chili gives a great look to the oysters. And then what's fun, we're trying to decide how to serve them. We said, you know, we, sh we should can them, they're so good. So we actually put them in little cans, fresh made into the can. You'll never find a canned oyster this good because these are not tough and chewy, but just very lightly cooked. And so when you get them in the can like that, then we sort of finish it off by putting just the remainder of the juice inside. Sometimes I think it's the best, best part. So they're gorgeous, isn't it? So when we serve it, we have a nice little platter, and then we put the actual canned oysters on there and just kind of tilt the lid up, which is kind of fun, but they're obviously freshly made. And uh, we'll serve with a little bit of toast, because you need the toast to be able to dip in that sauce inside the can. Best part of it. That's taking an oyster all the way from the shell to a nice uh, smoked oyster and a really light barbecue sauce. Great little dish in the bar, just to kind of snack on.